a sociopolitical organization, Coalition of Northern Group, has petitioned the United Nations, the United Kingdom, and the United States over the nationwide hashtag NSAS protest that rocked Nigeria last month. The spokesman, Suleiman Abdul Aziz, at a press briefing yesterday, stated that the civil unrest was geared towards destabilizing the country. Abdul Aziz accused the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdekano, of escalating the protest by allegedly instigating the burning and destruction of property belonging to some perceived foes. The group, however, appealed to the international community to hold those who fueled the protest responsible by imposing necessary international sanctions to serve as a deterrent to others. We demand the United Nations to pronounce the hashtag NSAS protest as a violent insurrection against the Nigeria state and to hold all persons, groups or governments that insist on justifying them responsible by imposing necessary international sanctions on them. The UN should urgently proscribe the activities of IPOB all around the world and appropriately label it a terrorist organization. Yepa. <laughs> we are also profoundly agitated that the global community continues to give a safe heaven to IPOB leader Namdekano, who again and again has called for war and genocide and whose propaganda campaign and directives instigated the Nigeria's national security assets, killings of people of other regions, looting public-private properties and violating other Nigerians' dignity and rights during this protest. We submit, therefore, that I hope by its violent utterances and actions against Nigeria and other Nigerian tribes is pursuit of political aims and targeting people based on their ethnicity and religion in ways that are clearly prohibited by relevant Nigerian legislations and international laws, adequately qualifies as terror outfits. We also call on the UN to support the Nigeria state's recent application of the constitutional tools and other lawful and internationally practiced methods of quelling violent protests that pretend total breakdown of law and order, she said. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, all this country, it's like people have not heard that the Nigeria, Nigerian government has proscribed the Namdi Kano and IPOP as a terrorist group. So, what are you guys waiting for? So, this Northern Coalition, you know, reminding you of what to do. That Why do you leave this guy? Why is this guy moving, roaming about? Have you not seen? Have you not heard what he has been doing? Like, seriously? Okay. Of course, you guys have, you have proscribed him. The Nigerian government has proscribed him in terrorist group. So, what else do you want? You want other country. You can only have power and do that in your country. They are not like you. That You're just anybody that criticize the government, the next thing they want to remove it. And because I think that is just what they are doing because they are looking for a way to, to manipulate every, every, any, everybody. So they just believe that once you criticize them, they begin to fidget. Why are these guys fidgeting? You know, a lot of people are trying to be, to be neutral. A lot of people are just trying to look at things holistically. But every day, every now and then, these people, the manner in which they come suggest that yes, suggest that yes, all that they've been accused of, they just tell you that that is just it. It is that that's just the way it is. They are not even hiding it. You know, we are because I think some days ago or yesterday or so, the this uh, Amina also that was appointed by was she was with the UN. She went to visit the president, and very after everything now they are now saying that the UN wants to support uh, the Nigerian government against uh, the hashtag answers. So these people are see. You know, they want to use that woman because she was there. Of course, let her go and maybe in the in UN, they practice this uh, ethnicity and this uh, religion card. Whether they play it, they let her go and do it. Something that the old world see and they are trying to change it. These people are not even ashamed of themselves. We are waiting. Since the woman is part of the UN and she came to visit Buhari, now they are saying these particular people, now this is a northern coalition. Now they are saying that uh, the... these international communities or bodies should proscribe or should term this uh, hashtag answers as being violent. <laughs> okay, good. Wonder shall never end. Yes, we, we are now beginning to see where our problems lie. Where our problems lie, we are beginning to see them now. For those who did not know, you are beginning to know. You are beginning to know. When these people, what do they call them? 
Miyeti Hala, they, they make a lot of statements, inciting statements, even the so-called Arewatu they make, but these people, you, do, you will not see them. The, these people who are going about taking people's life, land, the Fulani Esme, oh my God, you don't even say anything about that. Now, you are talking about Namdi Kano. Now, it is now those who participated in the protest. Of course, we begin to see what the government is doing. And now, we now know that uh, this is the government of the North. Government of the North. The only person that speaks the truth. I don't know if I'm wrong. Please let me know in the comment section. That's the only person I know that, that speaks objectively. Shea Wusani, maybe if you have a but at least from what I have seen. But majority of them, they always you know, go in one direction. And in the direction they are always going. You know, are they being these people's two they are from their own end are they been they are they are even enjoying anything when i talk the people the people are not those who are holding one position or the other we are talking about the masses everyday uh people on the street the northerners you see them all over the place if really what you are doing is good if you think that the, the country is good maybe that is just what they want they want the southerners to to be begging so that is maybe that is the way they want the whole country to be, and like, like it's not going to happen, because they are the worst hit in this whole thing. All the vices we talk about are embedded in that region, and yet they don't see anything wrong in that. Once you begin to demand for good governance, it becomes a problem. It becomes oh, they want to topple the government. When all of you, when the whole thing was going on, this issue of a um, fuel subsidy, when. Yeah, Occupy Nigeria was taking place in Ojota. Nobody said that they wanted to topple the governor, the government of a good Lord Jonathan. It is this in this these people. Oh my goodness, these people are not they are not good with power. APC generally, and we know the majority of the people who are holding on to power in APC. We know them. They are not just good with power. People are demanding for good governance, and you turn everything upside down. Everything is just you, you. You have the power. You have the power, now and you are not doing anything about it. As the country be transformed, as the country moved forward, we are retrogressing. Yes, you are talking about power, power, power. The so-called countries you are talking about, the way they are running their country is. Can you say the same thing with the way Buhari is running the government? Well, do you think Western countries that encourage free speech and peaceful demonstrations ever listen to you? Please stop thinking like a cow. <laughs> that is a, what a, another person is saying here. Okay, thank God you and, and the rest are not senseless like this group. I think coming should enhance right thinking. Sorry, your togetherness is for stupidity. Your stupor, your sponsor will see the, or your sponsor will see that this nation will change for better. Your group are not serious. I don't want to be using some words because some people are not really taking it so lightly. Compound foolishness in its highest order. You worship Boko Haram, ISIS, Iswap, and banditry. I'm sick and tired of being in Nigeria, being a Nigeria citizen without government provide work to the youth. At least let them, uh, they will investigate it and ask if we can still be one or not. Because what I'm seeing is not one Nigeria but religion sentiments where is the country it amazes me how these northern northern leaders refuse to understand that they are the reason for boko haram creation niger delta militant ipop now ensas movement and they are still stupid stupidly and stinkily looking for who to blame except themselves these people are so blinded by their demonic quest for power that they no longer hear the people well, their sudden eradication we wake up, we wake them up. The only solution now, if not that this man is foolish and grossly stupid, okay, he should have known that his uh, main concern for petition could have been the incessant killings in the north, where he comes from. Some people can be can be reasoning upside down. If the international community should pay attention to what. He just said they should quickly ask the North to allow the IPOP to state to state our own side of our story so that they will look into it. After looking at all, they will then organize a referendum for them to know if they still want to remain in Nigeria or outright seek for Biafra. Brace up for civilization and stop your backward movements. 
How has hashtag answers become a northern problem? It is not hashtag answers that is destabilizing Nigeria, but the ruling Kaba that rule with impunity, nepotism, religious bigotry, corruption, and insecurity. You are afraid Nigeria will break. If it does, you people will be the cause. You are occupying too much space in a country we should all own equally. Not to worry. Nigeria will be restructured and your spoon feeding and arrogance will end. Do you really blame these people? Who are the people? Do they are they just they don't work in isolation? They don't work in isolation. We have people even from the south that are working with them, and those are the people that need to be cautioned. So, guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let's have your take on this. Thank you.